The latest development in the manga series of Jujutsu Kaisen have sent shock waves through its dedicated fan base. Chapter 236 has unveiled a surprising ton of events in the epic showdown between two of the series' most formidable characters, Gojo Satoru and Ryomen Sukuna. This battle, which spanned a staggering 14 chapters over approximately three months, did not accumulate in the way fans has anticipated. After an intense and protracted fight, Gojo Satoru initially seemed to emerge as a victor. But a sudden twist of faith saw Sukuna overpowering him with a devastating attack that resulted in the apparent death of Gojo. This abrupt and unexpected outcome has left Jujutsu Kaisen fans in a state of disbelief, particularly as the manga's creator Gege Sensei has provided little clarification on the impact of Mahoraga's attack on Gojo. It's important to acknowledge that Jujutsu Kaisen is a shonen manga, and as is often the case in shonen series, characters making miraculous recoveries or returning from the brink of death is not uncommon. In this video, we will explore various theories and possibilities surrounding Gojo's potential comeback and his impending face-off against Sukuna, possibly in collaboration with the Thunder God Kashimo. Presently, there are two prevailing theories concerning Gojo's potential resurrection, which we will delve into detail. The first theory is about regenerating himself with the reverse curse technique. The reverse curse technique is a unique method that involves converting negative energy into positive energy, primarily for the purpose of healing or regenerating wounds. The question that arises is how Gojo Satoru could employ this technique to heal himself, because as we saw he is almost cut in two parts. So especially given his current state, it is looking really difficult. To grasp this, we must delve into the origin of both cursed energy and its reverse counterpart, recalling the intense battle between Kashimo and Hakari during the Kyuling game arc, spanning from chapter 186 to chapter 190. There was a pivotal moment where Kashimo targeted Hakari's brain. This specific target was chosen because the reverse curse technique draws its energy directly from the sorcerer's brain. On the other hand, reflecting on the hidden inventory arc, particularly duel between Gojo and Toji Fushiguro, Toji indeed managed to kill Gojo. However, Gojo was subsequently revived. Following his revival, Gojo explained that he could only be truly defeated if his head was entirely severed from his body. Combining these insights, it becomes conceivable that Gojo has a potential avenue for resurrection. Despite Mahoraga's attack inflicting severe damage to Gojo's lower body, his upper body, crucially including his head, remains intact. This implies that he still possesses the potential to harness the reversed cursed energy. Nevertheless, a challenge remains. While the reverse curse technique originates from the sorcerer's brain, it remains a subset of cursed energy. The typical birthplace of the sorcerer's cursed energy is the stomach. And given the Gojo's upper body condition, which includes both his stomach and head, is still intact, there remains a glimmer of hope. If Gojo can maintain sufficient consciousness, he might be able to tap into his cursed energy and reverse curse technique to facilitate his own healing and potentially support Thunder God Kashimo in his confrontation with Sukuna. The second theory is about Meimi's conversation with Nanami and Gojo. Chapter 236 of the series introduces a conversation that could be among the most pivotal moments in the entire manga. As the chapter unfolds, we find Gojo surrounded by familiar faces such as Nanami, Geto, Meimei and others. This conversation takes place within Gojo's mind, essentially serves as his farewell to his closest friend. Nanami candidly expresses his inability to fully support Gojo's actions and expresses sorrow at the prospect of his friend's demise. Intriguingly, Gojo queries Nanami about his final movements before Mahito's fatal attack. Nanami recalls a past conversation with Mei Mei, who had shared the following wisdom. Move north if you want to look for yourself, but from a different perspective, or move south if you want to stay the same person. Nanami's choice was to move south, indicating his desire to remain unchanged. There exists a possibility that Gojo might choose to move north, embarking on a journey of self-discovery from the new vantage point. As previously noted, Gojo's head and stomach remains intact with the body in this afterlife scene, where he stands alongside with his friend at an airport. Gojo bids his friends farewell and prepares to board a plane, a plane that could be headed north, symbolizing a potential second awakening. This scene also features a lotus flower, a traditional symbol of spiritual rebirth, further suggesting the possibility of Gojo's return. Drawing upon Nanami's advice, Gojo faces a critical decision to head south and accept his fate or to move north, pushing the boundaries of his own sorcery to new heights. 
Given Nanami's choice of the south direction, it's plausible that Gojo will opt for the north, marking his potential resurrection and setting the stage for another epic confrontation with Sukuna, this time potentially with Kashimo as his ally. However, it's crucial to approach these theories with a measure of skepticism as they remain unconfirmed. Additionally, considering Gojo Satoru's status as one of the most beloved characters in the Jujutsu Kaisen universe, and also given Gojo's immense popularity, it appears very unlikely that the creator would permanently remove him from the narrative. For now, all fans can do is speculate about Gojo's fate and eagerly await for the forthcoming chapters to see if he indeed meets his end or if a remarkable twist of faith is unfolding in the story of Jujutsu Kaisen. What are your thoughts about this video? What are your thoughts about these theories? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. And that's it and I will see you in the next one. Sayonara.